guys, before we get started, comment down below what you think we should name some of our chickens. I have many who need some names, and I was going to let y'all kind of come up with some fun names for them. I am Ellen from Fair Farms. We are a farm slash ranch located in central Alabama. We have many farm animals such as cows, chickens, pigs, goats, a horse, and a donkey. We have a wide variety of vegetables and fruits we have every year, such as watermelons, cantaloupes, corn, cucumber, squash, tomatoes, pumpkins, just a bunch of different stuff. In this video, I'm going to be showing you around, introducing you to all the animals, and kind of showing you what we do really around here. I will do morning and afternoon farm routines videos in the future. Um, if you want more content, we have a TikTok account and two Instagram accounts. I will put them in the caption below. Go check them out and give them a follow. Let's get started. So I'm going to introduce you to Miss Cher here first. She is a 35 to 40 year old donkey who was wild for 15 years out, I think in Arizona maybe. She is a sweetheart though. She is one of my favorites favorites. I always enjoy just petting her. She's super soft and sweet and loves to give you very slow licks. She is um, very slow and quiet and calm and just kind of hangs out here with the cows. We have her for basically like a security guard for the calves in case coyotes or buzzards anything ever try to mess with them. She can help out in defending them. It's very windy, like I said. Uh, here is some of the cows we have. This is Valentine. She was born on Valentine's Day, so that kind of hence the name Valentine. Um, this is Rosa. She is Valentine's little sister, so we wanted to kind of go with the Valentine's Day theme. This over here is um, 21. That's her tag number. We don't really have a name for her yet, but if anybody wants to name her, you are more than welcome to comment down below. Um, over here we have Fish, who oddly enough goes swimming in our ditch every day. And this is um, kind of her half sister. And over here we have more cows. Um, I think we have around 10. This is Dolly. She is one of my cows. And here are the three, three of the five calves we have. Here's Lily. She is... A really sweet cow. She should be expecting a baby. This is Marianne. She had a baby about a week ago. She was just hollering for her baby to come. And then we have two more cows down there. We also have this red cow. She does not have any name either. We have many cows who don't quite have names yet. Um, Y'all are also free to comment on them too. Um, Here's Fish again. Let me show you her fluffy ears. Fish has some very, very fluffy ears. She is the cutest little thing in the world. She's a very fluffy cow in general, and it's in the middle of summer. I'm very interested to see what she will look like in the winter because cows do thicken their coats in the winter and they get kind of fluffy. And she's already fluffy in the middle of September. And it's pretty hot here in September. So I'm very excited to see what she will kind of um, turn into. So let's go find that little calf and I'll show you. It took me about 10 minutes, so I'm gonna have to hurry because the mama's coming to get me. But I finally found this little calf. She had him hidden in this ditch here, he's itty bitty. But yeah, he has a kind of funky looking face if he'll ever turn around. And there's the mom. a little baby. He's cute. You can't really tell but he's gray. Pictures make it very hard to tell that he's all um, gray but yeah the mom's coming over here. We've been having some troubles with him. She kind of uh, trampled all over him right after he was born because the donkey came up to see him and he's been struggling but we're getting there. Here she is looking at me and Here's the little baby coming to his mama. Now let's go see the chickens. So here we are in the chicken coop. Here are some of the chickens. 
This is Monica. She is a bear rock. And this here is my game chicken, aka Velociraptor, because Velociraptor. Here are Frosty and Marvin, two of the roosters I have. <coughs> Marvin is a bear rock Easter egg mix, and Frosty is a pearl onyx. And that is Diego. He is my California tan. I named him Diego for San Diego. <coughs> and this is Phoebe. She is a five-year-old Rhode Island Red who likes to beat up Frosty the Rooster. <coughs> she will jump on him when it is feeding time and pecks all over them. It is really funny. Here are four of the six chicks I hatched out earlier this summer. Um, they are all kinds of crazy cross mixes. That one has some silky in her. Here's Amber. She is a Rhode Island Red I got from my neighbor. Here are some of my silkies. They don't have names. And then this is, here is Goldie. She is a California <coughs> tan pen. This is my pearl onyx pen. She is very skittish and she has a crazy comb. <laughs> so yeah, that's kind of the gist of the chickens. Um, yeah, Phoebe the Rhode Island Road, she likes to beat up this gigantic rooster who is three times her size. She will jump <laughs> off of here. She'll jump off of here onto his back when it is feeding time and he loses his mind every single time. Let's go meet the goats. So these two goats are our baby goats who are separate right now because the adult goats are in a cow, but in a cow slash horse pasture, this pasture here. So we don't want them to get trampled on. So this goat here, this is Marsha and that's Pixie. Uh, Marsha is going to be a big goat. We kind of got her because she was running loose on the road. We didn't know who her owner was, so we tamed her. And Pixie is a baby to one of our mama goats. She is a Nigerian dwarf and is about seven months old. A little bit of a surprise when it comes to the goats. We have a newborn baby Nigerian dwarf and she is about a pound. So you'll get to see her too. We have two mama Nigerian dwarf goats. We used to have three. One we gave away, and the day after we gave her away, she had twins. So here are our two mamas and the little bitty baby. This is Karen. She is still expecting. And this is Nipsey. She had this little cute baby about a week ago. I think it was last Friday. Nipsey is the mama to Pixie. And this little baby is going to go to a new home in about six weeks. She's going to have a playground and it's going to get treats and all kinds of fun stuff. So here's how big she is. She is the cutest little thing in the world. She is so cuddly and sweet and just the most precious thing. <laughs> Next up on the agenda is the pigs. We have two Yorkshire, Berkshire mixed sows. They are about seven months old. They have not had any piglets yet, and nor do they have a boar yet. We're still waiting on them to get a little bit bigger. Here is one of them, and here's the other. They are gigantic. I'm gonna go in their pen and show you how friendly they are. I think there's a bit of a traffic jam going on here. Here's the pigs. They will boop you all over with their snotty noses. As you can kind 
tell. I'm not a big fan of them as much as I am the other animals. I'm not very used to pigs and they are pretty um, gross to say the least. Next we are going to go see the horse and the halter calf and bottle calf. We do have another horse here that is not ours. He is just staying here temporarily. Well, I really don't know how long he's going to be staying here. He's my neighbor's horse, but he's really sweet. His name is Armani and we will introduce you to him too. Before I introduce you to everybody else, I'm going to kind of kind of show you around our barn, which is not super fancy. It is very, um, it's very southernly built. We will spend a lot of our time uh, in the videos in this barn. This is kind of where we feed most of the animals and it's kind of where a lot of the fun stuff happens. So you walk in and to your immediate left is the nursery, which is currently been redone. We just put concrete in it yesterday, so it's still drying. And over here, you can walk to this stall and you have where we are keeping our goats. We do have a door that can go from each stall. They were in both, but we had to block it off. To your right is the very messy tack room right now where we keep the saddles, all the feed drums, and we just have shelves where we kind of keep everything. And then we have our hallway. That is this area here. This is going to be a stall in the future. We'll have a wall put up here that will be matching this one. And here is the pasture for everybody. This is about a, this area here is about an acre and a half and we have another acre and a half pasture which everybody is in right now. We just built that new pasture this past week. We finished it yesterday and started it Monday. So it is very new. We got everybody in today. We had to kind of cut the fence and let them come through. We don't have a gate to between them yet but it will just kind of help us out if we need to separate the cows from horses or anything we can. Just so you kind of get an idea of where everything is. So this is the horse barn and the chicken barns over there and the baby goods are over there. And out there is where the cows are. So that kind of gives you a little bit of an idea where everything is placed. And you can kind of know your way around when we're out doing things. Please don't mind my dad <laughs> weed eating in the background and my brother cutting grass. It was kind of an inconvenient timing when I was filming this video, but it kind of needed to be done. It's quite a beautiful day out here today. I would have to say that for sure. So here are the two calves. Um, this brown one here, the one walking away from me is the bottle calf. His name is Halia. He's a little bull. He will be our big bull coming soon. This is Harriet. She is the halter calf who is quite quirky, who was in our way the whole time putting up the new wall. My dad had a board propped up and she kept on trying to knock it down over and over and over and got her horn stuck in the gate in the process. And here are these sweet horses. This is Armani and this is Nakoa. Let's go meet him. So this is our sweet boy Armani who has been staying with us for about a month and a half now. He is about a seven year old building. He is a barrel horse. That's my neighbors. And here's Nakoa, he's my horse. He is a Tennessee walking horse, he is a rescue. He's also a seven year old building and is <laughs> quite quirky. He likes to uh, lick your hand too. He is a Cremelo Primillo, we believe. He has pretty blue eyes and has a very white body. I've had him since November of last year. So he's barely new to the farm. He definitely likes to steal the show on TikTok for sure. <laughs> so that is everybody. You have officially been introduced to all the farm animals. Besides our Border Collie, she is the kind of ranch dog. She hurts the goats up and she likes spending time with the um, cows and horses and chickens and she kind of likes all of them. 
we have three more cows who are expecting calves anytime really and that other mama goat who will be expecting a kid soon too so stay tuned for that and i will be making videos on when they have their babies and dedicate videos just to them having their babies come here this is our border collie abby look at the camera she's looking down so yeah that's abby she is a year and a half old border collie she loves everything about the farm and she loves watching shadows on the ground too don't forget to comment down below any name ideas you have for the chickens or any of the cows let me know which chicken you want to name or cow and if i really like the name you picked that can be the name and i will um make a video if a bunch of people comment fun names for the animals on what the new names are and i will try to mention them as much as possible in the continuing videos thanks for watching